Guten Tag, meine Freunde. I am Werner Herzog, acclaimed filmmaker and warrior poet. Welcome to Extreme Duplex Makeover. Personally, I detest the word itself, extreme. For in a world where everything is extreme, ultimately, nothing is. Meet the Andersons, a typical middle-class couple burdened with banal delusions of the American dream. Whatever, man. Werner! No, it's Werner. Let us go inside and have a look at the desolation that is their lives. This dwelling has the curb appeal of a Calcutta brothel. Their mortgage is underwater. I do not mean that metaphorically, I mean that their loan officer drowned himself in the Pacific Ocean. We will endeavor to reinvent the home so they may sell it for 50 rather than a 70% loss. And in doing so, perhaps, will also restore a measure of the Anderson's self-respect. Flip tip Nummer eins. Find and hire a licensed general contractor. Oh, sounds good. If that is a budget buster, then at least find someone with an innate understanding of how dreams can quickly metastasize into horrific nightmares. Yeah, but I, I just, you guys are gonna do the gutters, right? Yeah, well I'm just hoping for a new fridge, so. Yeah, with the, the crushed ice maker? Oh, hell yes! Joining us on this journey is fellow filmmaker and surprisingly adept cabinet maker, David Lynch. Holy jumping George, it's great to be here, Werner. Anderson, how you hey, doing? Hey, Werner. Tell me what we're gonna do. See the guy that did that movie with the crazy guy? Let's go with some rusty barbed wire, right? We're gonna create a mood. We're gonna create a mystery, an intrigue. You have to be more specific. What crazy guy? Which the one? one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. That's him? All right, there. Thank you very much. Yes, no, I'm sure. Yes, it will be. Yes, it will. The Andersons will now go away and spend the next week pursuing their consumer dreams at the amusement park of their choice. Hey, hey, hey. Werner, remember the, uh, the gutters. Werner. Yes. Okay? Yes, I used to live there. All right. See ya. Yes. Woo! New house. Yes, hopefully. We have a scant seven days in which to perform this metamorphosis. David, are you up to the challenge? You betcha. You know, maggots can pick a rhino carcass clean in half that time. Well, I don't quite see how that is relevant at all, but it leads me to flip tip numas vai. Identify the house's problem and set the vision. Let's do it. <laughs> see bedrooms and breakfast nooks, but vast unseen landscapes. And it is the human soul that is visible through these landscapes. I'm thinking purple feathers. These perfectly useful appliances will be replaced with Hawking stainless steel monstrosities as a commentary on the overwhelming and necessary over automation of society, as well as a fuss free cleanup. Oh, my stars! There's a nest of dead possums down here! It's beautiful! Can I keep them, Werner? These carpets reek of feline uric acid and decades of human despair. We must keep them. Werner? I got an idea that's gonna knock your socks off. Granite countertops. David, granite countertops are so very 1990s. Wood is more than just a material. It's relatable and approachable. Like a fella eating pie at a diner counter. You can shake hands with a piece of wood and ask it where it's been. Hey, David Lynch, where you been? To restore this kitchen's sanity, I believe we must use travertine tile. That's what you said about the bathtub. I know.
just as I reimagined the film Bad Lieutenant by a man named Ferrari. As a comic fever dream, I must also reroute this shower stall. When it comes to home improvement, the answer is almost always travertine tile. Do you imagine something different? Any creative process is like swimming in an ocean of consciousness. Then your intuition grows, and that ocean becomes an ocean of solutions. Sometimes it helps to meditate. Ideas are like fish. If you want to catch little fish, you can stay in the shallow water. But if you want to catch the big fish, you've got to go deeper. Down deep, the fish are more powerful and more pure. They're huge and abstract and beautiful. Those are the ones you want. Oceans. Fish. That's it. We're putting in a pool. David, I think we must lose this wall in order to expand the landscape. Werner, in my vision quest, I need this foundation wall for the pool. Pool? It will be a very pleasing space. David, I do not share this vision, and I am the director, and I say the wall must go. No way, Jose. It stays. If I abandon this wall, I abandon this dream. I live or die by this wall. I need to make what I see, whether it's a movie, a painting, a duplex, or a steamy girl-on-girl -girl love scene between Naomi Watts and Laura Hearing. I respect that, and I have enjoyed that scene many times, but this is my duty, David. This very well could be the inner chronicle of what we are, and we must articulate ourselves. Otherwise, we would be the cows out in the field. My cow may not be pretty, but it is pretty to me. I have never understood irony. It is a defect I have had ever since I first learned to think independently. I don't like the word ironic. I like the word absurdity. Give me that. Let go of the hatchet, David. You are being utterly absurd. No more cow references. David, you're being a mushroom-headed bull. Taking you down. Ah! Down the leash down. In the end, David and I were unable to reconcile our visions. Welcome home, Anderson. Hi. <laughs> what the hell? Here are the keys. What did you do? To what? What did you do? To the backhoe. You're going to need it. Exactamente. The first step of creation is destruction. What? What? No. Hook it up. It's all gone, Jerry. It's all gone. Oh my God. Stop. Where's my cola? Anderson's. Oh my God. What's this? Anderson's this home will be your vision. Flip tip number three. When all else fails, burn the place down, blame it on the day laborers, and collect the insurance money. Janine. Hell yes! Hey Lynch, saw your last movie. Casting sucked! <laughs> you got it. When an unstoppable force meets an indestructible object, Sometimes, regrettably, compromise is necessary. Just like casting Nicolas Cage. Not your first choice, but it'll do in a pinch. From all of us here at Extreme Duplex Makeover, I would like to say, Donke Shane, from Werner and David, and see you next time. Ask the Luego. I don't usually speak this much Spanish. Mm. Big voice.